Uh, before I get started, I just got to say welcome to CSL TV. And I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. But rest in peace to Bryce Brooks. He was a 16-year-old from Atlanta who died from jumping into the ocean trying to save some kids. Now, Bryce Brooks, of course, from Atlanta who died after heroically jumping into the ocean in Florida trying to rescue four younger children that he didn't know from drowning. Now, the kids survived. But the prayers and thoughts go out to the family, you know what I'm saying? For this young man being such a Superman type guy, coming in, doing what he felt was right to do. And God said, son, we need you. So rest in peace, bro. Medical aid with the address of the emergency. Uh, my girlfriend, she's sick. Uh, uh, like, not sure if it's an allergic reaction or if there was possibly something in the food that somebody gave her. Uh, um, but, like, she's been puking. Um... <laughs> I'm super spacey, like, it's hard to talk, and, like, my hands and my feet and my arms are super numb. Is, are you having difficulty swallowing? I feel like my breathing is jacked up, too. Okay. Do you feel like your yeah, throat is swelling? I don't know. Like, my face is numb, like, up to my cheekbones. And I've puked like five times now, and I don't know if it's an allergic reaction or if they drugged me with something. So I was fine, and then I ate a cupcake. I ate one, I was fine, I ate another one, and then my face started instantly going numb. Okay. And okay. then they kept asking if I was getting tired or not. Where was this at? Like something at my house, like something's wrong with me. Who d you think someone might have drugged you? Yeah, I don't when know. When did this if they happen? Me or um, I like seven when I ate the cupcakes. Who and are the people that might have drugged you? Where are they? Uh, they're gone now. They are uh, were my uh, they, my kids' photographer. Okay. They gave you the cupcake. Yeah. Okay. I tell right. you, something's wrong with me. Like, okay. I don't feel good. Yeah, I'm we're gonna get safety. somebody out there. Okay. Now let me get you transferred back over to the police, okay, Alicia? Only because of the suspicious nature, okay? So just a second okay, here. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Hey there, Alicia. This is, this is the police dispatch. Okay, sounds like they got Hi. a for you. The person that you think drugged you, are they still there with you? No. No, they're not? Okay. Okay, and uh, who do you think it is that drugged you? Uh, they were my, photo my photographer for my kids. Okay, and how long ago were they with you? Uh, they were here about seven, and then they stayed for like a couple hours, and then they left, and when they left, I couldn't find my car keys or my house keys, and then she ended up saying that she had them with her for some reason, and she said she took them by accident and didn't know she had them, and then she had someone put them back on my front door, but wouldn't tell me who the person was, just a friend of hers. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I was fine. And at so, four so when I got home, I was in. Did the person ever actually return your keys? Yeah, they brought my keys back. Some van, she had a friend bring them back. So you do have your keys, but though? I was, yeah, I have my keys now. And I was fine until I ate a cupcake. And then after I ate the cupcake, I made a comment about my tongue and my face started tingling. And then it's gotten worse after that, after that. And then they kept asking me if I was tired and how I was feeling. Okay. And then... Think there was drugs in the cupcake? I think there was, or it was like an allergic reaction, something, but it's not adding up. Okay. Like, there's something wrong. Okay, gotcha. Alicia Miller was expecting to meet up with a photographer to have some memories snapped of her newborn child. Photos that she could look back on as her baby grew up. What she was not expecting was to be drugged with laced cupcakes and her newborn daughter almost stolen from her. Juliet Parker, who had run for mayor at Colorado Springs the previous year, had posted advertisements posing as a baby photographer on a Facebook group for moms. She offered a free photo shoot to babies less than 14 days old, or to mothers at least 37 weeks pregnant, and Miller responded, requesting the service offered. According to police reports, the two had met three times at Miller's home. The first two meetings were incident-free, and Parker seemed to be who she said she was. But that was far from the truth. At the third meeting, Miller was allegedly pressured into eating lace cupcakes by Parker's teenage daughter. Miller began to feel giddy and unwell, 
She felt her arms and feet becoming painfully numb, and she knew that something just wasn't right. She hastily asked the two women to leave and was able to contact 911 and report the incident before the drugs took over completely. Before Parker and her daughter left, Miller allegedly saw them stealing house keys and wiping their fingerprints off surfaces in the home. During police investigations, it was confirmed that the cupcakes were laced with the drug GHB, also known as the date rape drug. Police also discovered other possible victims who had reported their interactions when meeting Parker, who had been operating under pseudonyms like Juliet Gaines and Juliet Noel. Further evidence of the attempted kidnapping was brought to light when authorities discovered a text message sent Parker's daughter, suggesting the abduction of an infant to a mother's ex-boyfriend. They came forward to report that he had received a call from Parker telling him that she had just given birth on February 5th, 2020, the day of the attempted kidnapping. Parker and her juvenile daughter were arrested on February 14th, 2020, and Parker faced charges of second-degree kidnapping and second-degree assault. Her bail was set at $150,000, which the alleged kidnapper posted for a second time, and walked free after pleading not guilty in court, despite police previously taking her back into custody after she posted bail for the first time due to her being a flight risk. According to her LinkedIn page, the former mayoral candidate has had very little social media presence since the chain of events, but is reportedly still the CEO of an NGO to feed the homeless. As of now, Parker is awaiting trial for the judge's decision, and her daughter still awaits her trial in juvenile court. Man, you mean to tell me these people go around purposely looking for people to drug, to steal their kid, potentially steal their identity? <sighs> oh boy. This world is crazy, man. You out here doing the unthinkable because these people just want to take baby memories, photos, all that stuff, and now you out here drugging women, trying to kidnap and steal their baby. This is why y'all gotta be careful to those ads that you look up and, and get in, you know what I'm saying, get involved with.